Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2023 Salem Grand Villa 42 FLDL destination trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and the outside of the RV, and then we will close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2023 Salem Grand Villa 42 FLDL destination trailer here. We're going to spin our way through the inside and then we'll head back outside and show you around here. So first things up, again, 2023 model change unit here. So you're going to see some differences as far as the linoleum's different, the wood color's different, countertops are a little bit different, a little bit of wallboard and ceiling board difference. Not anything really physical changing, but a lot of cosmetic changes for the 2023 version. Now they went to that woven material that they use on like pontoon boats for the slide floor over there instead of carpet. So that I guess is kind of a little physical change this year, a little bit different there. Still have your theater seat over here. It does have little cup holders in it. Also a little storage space in there. Huge windows overlooking the campsite area of your RV. Freestanding table, four chairs, a little bit of storage space under the chairs there. Just kind of sitting down at your theater seat. Got a nice 36 inch graystone electric fireplace here. Insignia TV, Furion sound bar. Nice view here. Sofa here is a trifold style sofa, flips out, makes into a big bed, so you could sleep a couple extra guests here. That sofa and also the theater seat are again freestanding furniture. So in the future, if you want to replace it with something else, you can. Electric outlet on each side of the sofa there, little end tables on each side. Again, big windows overlooking the front area of your RV. 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. You can see one of your Coleman ducted ACs up there. Little overhead storage above your TV there as well. Over here you have a nice size pantry area as well. Little LED tow kick lighting. Quite a bit of storage space under the island as well. High rise spring sprayer faucet. You have a double bowl undermount stainless sink. Spinning back around to the kitchen area here, you have quite a few drawers and some cabinet space here. Furion oven, three burner stove top. Window behind the stove area there does also open. Large LG microwave and some more overhead cabinet space here. You have the large LG refrigerator, refrigerator part on top, freezer on bottom. Then you have more storage space over here on the left, a little more counter space. Kind of looking up here at one of your lofts. We'll look at that when we get back up into the loft area as well, but kind of see it from this side. Now here is some controls. Basically you have a dimmer switch for some lights, another light switch, uh, another light switch, outside speaker button, slide button, holding tanks, if you have holding tanks, depending on how you order it. Some people order it without. Uh, and then you have your furnace and air conditioner control for one of them there. ceiling fan switch, some more light switches. Back behind this door here, we have our bathroom. 
Now this particular unit was ordered with the residential porcelain toilet. And when you do that, it takes away one of your holding tanks. So it is basically straight piped and you got to hook into plumbing to use your toilet. If you don't do the household toilet, you get a traditional RV toilet and a holding tank. Over here, you can see a little bit of uh, counter space, drawer space. Pretty good size mirror there. Glass in shower. Does have a little sit down seat area there. And then you also have quite a bit of storage space for some linens here. And then there is a little fan that goes all the way up through this area in out the roof, basically. Um, so you can kind of see they block off this section and it's got its own little uh, tunnel up to the roof and out so you can exhaust out all that shower moisture. But you have heat and air conditioning both in the bathroom. The power on, and you'll see when we get outside, has a switch right here on the wall for that. Looking down here, you have your central vac, and it also has a little dustpan vac feature as well. Going on back this direction, we step down into our master bedroom. So the bed does raise up. There's a little bit of storage underneath of the bed. You have some overhead cabinets above your bed area there. Some directional reading lights as well, along with a traditional uh, mushroom light in the middle. Electric outlet and USB charger port on the right side there. Window on each side of the bed does open. Quite a bit of room to maneuver around your bed area here. Now over here we have some dresser drawer space and some closet space. This can be ordered a couple different ways depending on how you order it. One, this is the main directional way, but you can also do washer dryer prep, which would actually turn the right side of this area into more of a closet with a big swing door on it where your washer dryer would actually be able to go in there. Um, I believe you would still have to remove the door once you put the washer dryer in there. So it would be kind of an open washer dryer there, but it does change up that cabinetry when you do washer dryer prep. Some more drawer space, your electric box with your breakers and fuses down there. There are TV hookups on the wall as well, so you could put your TV down here if you want. Now going back up this direction, we're going upstairs to the loft area. So on the left side, we have a double loft section here. And you can see your second air conditioner here, again, ducted AC, and this does blow AC down into the master bedroom as well. But there's two windows up here, one on each side, and both of these windows do open and are also emergency exit windows. You have electric outlets back there, a little shelf space back there, USB charger ports back there as well. Spinning around here, there are TV hookups here. Also prepping for the King Wi-Fi Connect setup. Talk with your salesperson about something like that. They'll be glad to go over that with you. But again, you have a little more space here. There's a little hanging bar thing up there. But a decent amount of room here. You know, I can sit up here and my head's not totally touching the ceiling. If I really stretch upward, I could. I'm roughly 5'9", sitting up here. A 
Over to this side, we have our other little loft area. Now this side's a little shorter here. I'll put the measurements and stuff down in the description. Uh, so this one would be a little snugger. TV hookups over here as well. But pretty simple little loft area there. Give the kids some space of their own, but still give you a big everyday living area. All right, we're gonna head outside. I want to show you around the outside. Then we're gonna come back in and close this thing up for you. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Salem Grand Villa 42 FL DL destination trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, this was ordered with the optional fiberglass exterior. The standard version is an aluminum sided version. So you got your choice depending on which you prefer. Uh, obviously fiberglass is a more expensive upgrade. So talk with your salesperson about that if that interests you. The unit comes standard with a power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV up there, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff purposes, and you can manually crank it in in the front arm head up here in case of an electronic failure. The large slide out that you've seen when we were inside up here in the front section, it is prepped for Solair slide toppers. So if you wanted to put an awning cover over top of that, you could. Uh, a lot of people sometimes buy these and then build roofs over them and build decks around them and all that type of stuff. So you may not need that, but it is prepped for it. If you do want it, talk with your salesperson about that as well. You have deep tent safety glass windows on the RV. Large patio door here to get you in and out. Now the unit has traditional hover steps on it, rated for 300 pounds, triple entrance step to get you in and out of the RV. Again, a lot of people tend to build decks on here and don't really use those steps. They just fold back underneath the inside of the RV. Large folding entry handle to get you in and out of the camper there. And then you also have your model number located right there. Uh, so if you're out on a dealer's lot looking at RVs and you might see what you like, you can identify the model, usually right by the main entry door there. It has two outdoor speakers, also has outdoor TV hookups as well. So you could put a TV out here if you wanted to. Dual axle unit, 12 volt drum brakes, easy lube hubs. Again, most people are taking these and parking them. So a lot of times they will take the wheels off and block these type of RVs. Um, you can get optionally uh, stabilizer jacks. If you are gonna travel and move around, you might wanna consider stabilizer jacks. Uh, but if you're just gonna take it, block it, tie it down scenario, then no sense in spending the extra few dollars for that. Traditional porch light above your back door and the back door here goes into your bedroom. You've seen that when we were inside as well. Double entrance step to get you in and out of that area. On around to the back of the RV, it uh, does have a traditional flat back rear end. The cable satellite inlet is on the rear here. Now looking down below here, you can kind of see covered underbelly set up here, but you can also see one of the tie downs right here. So again, if you are gonna block it and tie it down, that's one of the tie down points right here. There's a few of those around the RV. Now, looking up at the roof of the RV here, you can see there are things up here as far as like the skylight, plumbing stack vents, uh, the AC units, TV antennas, all that type of stuff up here. You do have to get up here from time to time and maintain those seams and seals to make sure you keep water out of your RV. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, this $100,000 motorhome sitting over here, or if it's a you know, destination trailer, travel trailer, whatever, they're all gonna have a lot of this same stuff on the roof that you gotta get up there and maintain. So very important to keep up with that. On the backside here, you have your bedroom slide. 
There is a little bit of storage underneath the here from outside. So you could uh, put some little things in here. Magnetic clip that holds up the baggage door. And this slide is also preset up for Solaire slide toppers. Same thing with the next slide up toward the front. So again, if those interest you, talk with a salesperson about that. Detachable power cord here. This is roughly 25 or 30 feet long and it is 50 amp electric service. Now down here you have one of your dump areas. So you're gonna have a dump area right here and then you're gonna have another one up in front of the axles as well. This right here, the customer you seen when we ordered it inside there uh, in the bathroom, they set it up to have the uh, porcelain household style toilet. So the dump on this one's gonna look a little different than the dumps if you don't do that household toilet setup. The big water heater here, so you have a 20 gallon electric water heater and it has a bypass and winterization valve stuff on it as well. Low point water drain is also down there. City water hookup here, furnace exhaust out right here as well. So you have your gray tank up here, black handle back there. Stove exhaust out right up here. There's a little flapper in there that you do have to make sure you open up when you are cooking. Now this customer ordered it with the detachable hitch. And that's a nice option to have if you have length restrictions on the campground you might be at. You can unbolt this hitch, this V part of the hitch right here and shorten up the length, probably about, I'd say close to two and a half, maybe three feet. Uh, so if you have an issue with that at your campground that you might be going to, consider that. If you don't have it and you're putting it on your own land or something, then that's really kind of a waste of a few hundred dollars. But, you know, is something that you could consider. On the front corner here, we have some very important informational stickers. We're gonna pop these up for you here real quick. Now the first one popping up is your main production sticker. This has your production date, VIN number, axle size, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined going down the road. So do not exceed that number, very important. Next sticker popping up is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. And it also has the length on it. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross vehicle weight number. Again, don't exceed that. Last but not least, tire sticker here telling you tire size, but most importantly, tire pressure, cold tire pressure. Very important that you check this before you travel with your RV. Um, again, these are destination trailers, so you're usually parking this somewhere and not really moving it. But if you do move it, make sure you check your lug nuts from time to time and also make sure you check your air pressure, very important. Up here on the front, you have two 30 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator. There is room for one, possibly two batteries, depending on the size of the battery that kind of tucks away underneath of there. It comes with zero batteries from the RV maker. Uh, if you purchase from Couches RV Nation, it will have at least one battery on it. And there's a little battery disconnect down there as well to shut it off for storage purposes. Manual tongue jack to crank it up and down. Two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. It does have 12 volt brakes. So very important if you are gonna tow it to make sure you have a brake controller in your vehicle. Uh, something big and massive like this, really truthfully you need a dually to haul this. I've seen people do it with single axles. I don't think it's real safe. Um, but if you're just kind of taking it someplace short once and dropping it and never moving it again, just be real careful. Uh, but make sure you do have a brake control, very important. 
And then on the front, you kind of seen when we were inside, there are windows and stuff behind this uh, shipping covering that they put on the front of it. All right, we're going to head back inside. I want to show you around the inside closed up so you can see what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Salem Grand Villa 42 FLDL here. We're going to close this thing up for you, show you what it looks like closed. So when you are ready to close it up, you have to come back to your little control panel here by the refrigerator area. And basically, this has a little button on it to run your slides in and out. So we're gonna spin the camera around here. This is a hydraulic slide system on this villa floor plan. So the lightest room or path of least resistance when it comes to pressure for the hydraulic fluid basically allows the room to move first. So right now, that is going to be this slide over here. Typically, it's the bedroom slide a lot of times after you get this slide loaded with all your, you know, appliances and all your groceries and food and all the kind of stuff that you're, you know, packing into those cabinets. Then a lot of times the bedroom usually moves first. But when it's new, most of the time it's this one. So when it comes in, you can kind of see here, it gets pretty close to your island. So you're not really getting into your drawers and stuff very well down there. Now we're gonna bring it the rest of the way in. That is actually gonna be the back bed here. So we're going to set this down, give you a little view here what that looks like. It does kind of move a little bit with this first room but then it'll come the rest of the way in a little quicker. And we're gonna stop again here just so you can kind of see what this looks like all closed up. Back here before we get to the third room. So when it's closed up, it gets real close to your dresser area there. You do have still a little bit of room on that side of the bed. basically have little access to your closet and the uh, little dresser drawers there. Now, if you do the washer dryer prep, which again, changed up this cabinetry setup here, it would be a little snugger because you got the cabinet coming out a little further with the big door and stuff on it. Um, so it'll look a little different on that side of things. But when you are again closed up, you can come in that back door Still get to your bathroom, get to your loft area, could possibly use your bed. Now bring it in the rest of the way. This is where we're really kind of closing off the front half of the camper. So this is gonna come in real close to our island again. All right, so it's kind of stepping back here so you can kind of see. I could still come in my sliding glass door my back door, come right on around here. I could you know, wash my hands if I needed to. If you were to unscrew the table, you could kind of spin it sideways and then walk around to get up into the front section. So it is somewhat accessible. And again, most people are parking these. These are destination trailers, not really meant to be towed around a lot. Um, so you could easily undo that table and not have to worry about it falling over as easy as it would if you were traveling down the highway. Not really getting to your fridge though, that's pretty much blocked off. But a lot of the other stuff you could still access and use. Now going back out, let's see what happens here. So we're gonna hit the button, probably gonna be the same kind of scenario here. So we got Oh, looks like a little pressure going on everything. Big slides moving. Bed slide, I can hear it behind me actually moving. So they're kind of going wherever the pressure flows. All 
All right, guys, thanks again for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. It will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.